afternoon and welcome to my tutorial. This is Cloud 14 or 15 if you know me from YouTube. From tutorial expansion. As you can see, I have uh, created a new form subsection called updates, and these are going to be for the uh, tutorial 14. I will be hosting everyone's uh, files or update files if they even have any in here. And this is password protected, so not everyone can go into it. But uh, another note, tutorial 15 is going to be how to open up folders in Visual Basic 2000, uh, 2010. Uh, it'll teach you how to open up folders and how to open up a folder and automatically select a file that you're looking for. So as an example, let's go to my computer, C drive, and let's click on whatever file you have in there and just copy it. So you can link it up later. Add a button to your program, and we're gonna uh, as well run into some problems in this tutorial, and just to show you how to fix them. Uh, double click on your button you created it, and uh, type process dot start open quotation explorer dot exe and quotation comma open quotation uh, start. I think that's what it's called. Start no called uh, forward, uh, forward slash select comma and quotation. That's how you're gonna type. You can press plus C drive and then paste the uh, file name in here, and that'll be the end of your code. Basically, what this will do is when you click the button, it's gonna open up the folder and select the file called global data. As you can see, it's already selected right here automatically. So let's close this folder. And for example, let's create a uh, test a test file because I don't want to delete that global data file. So I'm going to call mine global data 333. Let's see if it does not exist. What happens when it doesn't exist? You get an error. So if you want to fix that, of course, you're going to probably put your process in start and try I mean so let's add that process to try and let's see if we get an error still exactly it won't work in a try statement for some reason you'll always get a an error even if you don't show your message what you might want to do is uh check if the file exists so if dot if my dot computer dot file system file exists Glob data three 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 dot no, You're gonna place this in there. So if it if it exists, you're gonna do that command right there. And if it doesn't, what you're gonna do is process dot start open quotation explorer dot exe and quotation comma c drive. So if the file doesn't exist, you're not going to select any file. You're going to still open up the folder though. So let's test this out. Press the button and you open the folder without, you know, selecting a file. Let's create another file and let's call it global data 3333. See what happens. Close the folder and press the button again. There you go. It's selected and it even scrolls all the way down to select the file and show you where it is. So you can make a pretty cool program with this. Selecting files and such. And that's it for this uh, tutorial. Next tutorial coming up will be a tutorial on showing you what the difference is between using process start and shell to start up programs or files. So see you in the next one. Oh wait, I forgot to press F10. F10.